Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing the 8th box, the Fan Home Star Wars R2-D2 subscription box, which includes issues 27, 28, 29, and 30. If you missed any of our previous reviews, please go back on our YouTube channel and get caught up. I would like to thank Fan Home for sending along for review. We greatly appreciate that. Each of these magazines come with different parts to build R2-D2, so we're going to be continuing that, as well as different articles in each one. Here's a closer look at issue number 27, as well as the parts. This flap just doesn't want to uh, stay open like that. It just closes. So here's a closer look at the parts. And here is a closer look at issue number 27. Inside, we have building R2-D2, securing the circuit board. Inside Star Wars, the Dagobah system. And for droid directory, we have Imperial Spies and Seekers. Let's continue a look at the magazine. So again, here is the cover. First page, we have the table of contents, as well as the first article, the Dagobah system, including some great imagery. Next page, we have Yoda's hut, Yoda's clothing, some additional information about this particular scene. And as well as a really good article, as you can see here. Next article, Imperial Spies and Seekers, talking about some of the droids. And we have a continuation of that. Next article is for robotics. Used in Star Wars. And we have a continuation of that. And on the last couple of pages, we have the steps to build or continue the build for R2-D2, as well as look at the parts that are included, as you can see here. So the instructions, very easy to understand. Here's a closer look at that. We're going to be fitting the display screen. And we have a continuation here. Just make sure to follow these steps very carefully as you build. And this is our completed assembly. So what I'm going to do now is build it and let's take a closer look. Here's a closer look at the display screen as well as the completed assembly. So as I said, just make sure to follow the instructions very carefully. Here's a look at all sides of it, just to give you guys a look. Especially be careful not to touch the screen itself. Just touch the sides of it. So for now, we're going to leave it like this. I am now moving on to the next issue. Up next is issue number 28, as well as a look at the parts that are inside. Again, this does not want to stay up. You have to hold it like this. But here's a closer look at the parts, including this metal frame here and a whole lot of screws that we're going to be using. The magazine itself, building R2-D2 leg motor assembly, inside Star Wars filming on Dagobah. And for Droid Directory, we have our X-Series Pilot Droids. On the left here, we have the table of contents and the first page filming on Dagobah. And we have a continuation of that. Some really great imagery here that you've probably never seen anywhere else. Well, at least I haven't. Next article, we have RX Series Pilot Droid.
And we have a continuation of that. Next up is our article about robotics. And we have a continuation of that. And finally, we have a look at the parts we're gonna be using for assembly here, including a look at all the parts that are in this bag, all these screws and everything. So here's your closer look at that. And assembly itself, we're gonna be using a lot of parts that were previously offered. So I hope you guys put that all in a safe place as we're gonna be continuing the build. Make sure to do step by step very carefully. Don't make any mistakes. And there is a look at our completed assembly. So what I'm gonna do now is assemble this and let's take a closer look. Here's a look at the completed assembly. For the assembly, I took a look at this exploded view, which is what I recommend you guys doing. It's much easier to follow compared to the instructions. And here is a look at that. So you'll notice that four screws are in, as you can see here, and we have a completed assembly here. The wheel really spins, as you can see there. And that's it. I am now moving on to the next issue. Up next, issue 29, we're gonna be completing the projector. And here's a look at the parts that are included with this issue. Magazine itself, building R2-D2. Again, we're gonna be completing the projector. Inside Star Wars, leaving the studio. And for Droid Directory, UT series Century, Century Droid. First page, table of contents, which you see on the left here. The right page, leaving the studio. This is the third article about Dagobah, Yoda, and Luke Skywalker. And we have a continuation here of that swamp planet, along with brand new images. DT series Sentry Droid is next. And we have a continuation of that. And finally, the latest article for robotics. So up next, we have a look at the parts that are included which you see here for the projector. And we have a look at the steps. So we're gonna be installing the lenses. Make sure to pay extra attention as you're doing it. My recommendation is to follow this. It's the easiest, the, uh, the exploded view. It's the easiest to follow. And fitting the projector LED, which is next, you see here. Completing the projector, the final step. And here's a look at the completed assembly. And then we're going to be testing the projector. So to test it out, you should see a hologram of Luke Skywalker right here. So what I'm gonna do now is assemble this and let's take a closer look. Here's a look at the completed assembly. The first lens is in here. This is the smaller one and the other two lenses, the larger ones are stored in here. And as you can see, this lens is attached to here. That's a cover on the lens, which is assembled with a screw on there. And just to show you guys the instructions again, because it is a lot of little steps in here. You 
Here's another look, all the assembly. And the testing. I did test it and it looks good. So now I am moving on to issue number 30. The final issue is issue number 30 and here's a look at the parts. We're gonna be installing the motor. This is the motor right here and we're gonna be adding the wiring to the legs in this issue. As it states for building R2-D2. Also inside Star Wars, Industrial Light and Magic, and for Droid Directory, B1 Series, Battle Droids, Part 1. On the left here, we have the Table of Contents, and on the right, we have the first article, Industrial Light and Magic. And we have a continuation of that. Up next, B1 series, Battle Droids Part 1. And a continuation. Great images they used. And for the final part of this issue, here's a look at all the steps we're gonna be using, as well as the accessories that are included, such as the right wheel motor, and we're gonna be adding the wiring. So first we're gonna be fitting the motor and wiring. Here's a look at that. The motor screws in right into the wheel here, as shown. And then we're going to be adding the wiring as shown. Here's a closer look. Just take your time when you do this. Looks like we're going to be fastening that in as shown. Then we're going to be putting the cover on the leg with screws. Steps continued. And finally, we have completion. So what I'm gonna do now is assemble this and let's take a closer look. Here's a look at the completed assembly. As you can see, this is now completely together screwed through on the other side. The wires are in here with twist ties, tying them to the metal uh, bracket. You also see the motor, which is now connected with the wire attached to it. This has a lot of little steps, so I went very slow. I strongly recommend you guys do it too. When you get to here, just make sure you put this little wire on the side here, otherwise this cap will not close. As you can see, this wire comes through on the bottom here, and there's just a tiny gap for the wire to fit through. That was no problem. On this other side, the wires come through here, as shown. So for now, these are just going to hang out. These side pieces are in. Everything's connected. Everything's good. And... We used a ton of these black screws, which you see here. Overall, we are one step closer to a complete R2-D2. I cannot wait until he's fully assembled. Thank you so much for watching. I am Anthony Scott at ToyHypeUSA.com. Thanks again to Fan Home for sending along a full review. We greatly appreciate that. Please like and share this video as well as comment. And stay tuned as we will continue to cover the subscription box.